Hi, I'm Mike Davenport, Louisville's Chevy dude here at Bachman Chevrolet in Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm standing with a 2017 Camaro, and this is going to work with most vehicles that have the adaptive key fob, the keyless access, like what you have here on the Camaro, the Corvette, the Tahoe, Chevy Cruze, a couple of other vehicles as well. But before I begin, please don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to share my video and also thumbs up it. So this is your home screen that typically the car will start up in. So, but if you're in audio or in the nav or something to that effect, all you gotta do is hit the home button right here. The next thing you're gonna do is go to settings. And I always tell everybody, everything inside the settings is based off of what you wanna do. So you can see, you can scroll up and down here. So what I wanna do is I wanna, I'm gonna mess with settings that are with the car. So I'm gonna go to the vehicle as soon as I can get there, I'm hitting, I'm hitting this way too much because I'm doing it one-handed. But uh, there we go, vehicle. And now what am I going to mess with? I'm going to mess, mess with the locks. So remote lock, unlock. So it's very, very confusing in here because we got power door locks up here we, and we got remote lock, unlock, start. So, But we're going to go to the remote lock, unlock, start. So and I've already kind of messed with this to make sure that it was all set up incorrectly. So that way I can show you to how to do it correctly because coming from the factory, it is not set up to do passive locking when you walk away from the vehicle. So when you scroll down, you wanna do passive door unlock and you can do this either way, driver door or all doors. So driver door is just that, it's the driver door. If you hit it, it's gonna unlock all the doors. And then the passive door lock, you can do it in two different ways. Right now it's currently off and this is the way it comes from the manufacturer. You can do on with horn chirp or on with no horn chirp, basically is what that's saying. I prefer, and I suggest that you do on with horn chirp, so that way when you're walking away, you get the audible feedback stating that the vehicle is in fact locked. So once we shut the car off, you can see over here on the left, I'm gonna shut the car off. I've got that on. I'm gonna get out of the car and show you that once I shut the door and walk away, that it will lock here in a couple seconds. There you go, it locked. So that's the passive lock and unlock system, how to set it up so that way every time you get out of the vehicle that it locks for you automatically while walking away. So if you keep the key fob in your pocket, in your purse, somewhere else, you don't have to mess with it. Any question on this, feel free to call me, shoot me a text, email me, through my website at louisvillechevydude.com. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.